Hello, Dr. Blankenship here with you. I want to talk today about the definition of a crime. You know, we probably take for granted the definition, uh, and the traditional definition is you know, any social harm defined by law and made punishable. That's the typical short definition of a crime. But how do we apply white collar crimes to that definition and thereby hangs the tail. Um, some time ago uh, Paul Tappan and Edwin Sutherland engaged in a debate just when the concept of white collar crime was first circulating uh, uh, from Sutherland's work and Tappan you know was a, a lawyer was saying or arguing that uh, you know you have to there has to be a law um, and there has to be a conviction. Uh, Sutherland says, oh, "Wait a minute, let's add civil wrongs to this definition of a crime," because he was um, arguing that corporations primarily, uh, but white collar criminals in general. Uh, could use their influence to shape the perception and shape the laws. And so Sutherland added this other dimension of the civil aspect of, of uh, so if you get a civil judgment, he included that as a crime. Now, in the 70s and 80s, you had more radical criminologists who were pushing that definition even further. So I would add a third layer to this definition of a crime. And that's an act that is harmful, that should be punished, but is not because of the ability of white collar criminals to shape the definition of a crime and to uh, influence the administration of justice and to shape the media's perception, which in turn shapes our perception about what is a crime and who are criminals. And this really hits home when we look at uh, today's current events like BP. Um, the president just said he's going to make sure that they're held responsible for the harm that they've caused in the Gulf. But it still remains to be seen, will BP be prosecuted for manslaughter? And I invite you to look up the definition of manslaughter in your state. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say uh, the negligence, if BP, if it what appears to be negligence on the behalf of BP or its agents, and in that mix you've got Transocean and Halliburton, uh, but somebody was negligent and it ended up in the death of 11 people. But that's Toyota, that's Massey Energy, that's and you just fill in the blank. So we really do need this third definition of harms that should be punished. But because of the power of white collar criminals and particularly corporations, that uh, there is no arrest, investigation, indictment, or conviction. And that in itself causes, this, this, this definition brings us, it, it, it does open up a new can of worms, as does the very concept of white collar crime.